Hello everyone! Welcome to my playthrough of Starfield. If you don't know what this game is, people are describing this game as Fallout in Space. That's right, it's made by Bethesda. What I'm going to do here at the beginning, unlike some other ones, these games have a lot of intros and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and show you my character build, which is it's important at the beginning of a, of a game. This is going from my experience with playing games like Skyrim and Fallout. You'd be surprised of some of the stuff that I'm going to choose because I you, you know usually like to run and gun even in these kind of RPG games, but that's not what you want. There's some things that you really really want. So, here's my face. We'll go over to body. I went up to muscular and heavy. You can see I got a belly. It's kind of very traditional for my... So this is definitely my walk style versus this. That has got a little bit of too much swing in it for me. And I did a little bit uh, more skin tone because I am live in Arizona and I'm outside and I get tanned up. So that's that. We go over to background. So this is where... I think this stuff is most important early game. You've got an opportunity to choose any one of these, and they come with three starting skills. <clears throat> Things like fitness, ballistics, gastronomy. You can read these basically by the name. You get an idea of what they are. Boxing, security, important. So, look, you guys, in these games, there's a t you're going to come across a lot of things that you want to get to. And if you don't have lock picking skills, if you don't have the ability to get in and out of places or to talk your way in and out of situations, they're way more highly ranked than maybe a gun skill. Gastronomy, dueling, scavenging, it's a good sounding one. So you can see there's a, a big variety of stuff here. I've looked through here. And what I've decided on, surprisingly, is something called Diplomat. Which, for me, if you know me, I'm a run and gunner. You'd think that maybe like Cyber Runner. Stealth is a great one. Security. Cyber Runner is pretty cool sounding. Ronin. I like that name. But in Diplomat, you get Persuasion, Commerce, and then the Wellness is kind of just a bonus, right? So commerce is the one where you're going to be able to buy things at a discount and sell things at an increased price. And looting, which I love doing, and being able to sell that loot for a lot of money is a good thing. Persuasion, talking, talking your way out of situations sometimes, I think is a good thing. So we're, we're choosing diplomat, all right? Now, as far as traits go, you got three traits you can, you can pick. Now, for me... I've looked through here, and I've decided on alien DNA, this first one here, it's going to give you increased health and oxygen, but it's going to decrease. Everything's kind of like a buff and a debuff. It's going to increase health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective, which I don't think is that big of a deal because there's a lot of ways to heal, like sleeping, I think sleeping is a really good one. So I'm choosing alien DNA as my first one. Again, these aren't like super critical, but you can line yourself up for success. Dream home is pretty cool. It allows you to get uh, probably one of the best um, like houses in the game. But I like I like doing stuff from like ships and things. So I'm gonna pass on that. Empathy, extrovert. You can see what it says there. Hero worship is kind of cool, but I think this brings in <laughs> this guy is like one of those dudes that never shuts up, right? And he's <laughs> really annoying. All of these things down here to Taskmaster. So there's going to be some battling in the ships. So this thing will have your crew automatically repair your ship. However, the debuff is the crew costs twice as much to hire. But I'm not really concerned with that part. I like if I'm I get focused on things and 
I won't be paying attention, obviously, to my ship. So I'm choosing Taskmaster. And finally, I like this, because this has happened in a lot of other games. If you choose Wanted, you're actually putting a bounty on your head. And you'll get attacked periodically and randomly. I, I, I heard that it won't happen necessarily like in main quests or obviously when you're interacting. But it's going to give you the chance to fight some dudes that probably will have good loot on them. All right? So we're going to go for Wanted as our third one. I think that I think that's pretty cool. So Alien DNA, Taskmaster, and Wanted. So, complete profile. Who is this? I am King Meaty. Uh-huh, uh-huh. King Meaty. Oop. King Meaty. He, him. He, him. All right, name, character, pronoun, confirm. So my pronoun is he, him, King Meaty. Confirm. Hmm, huh, forgot. Former diplomat, right? You must have said the wrong words to the wrong people to wind up here. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Uh, yeah, there was light and some music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Okay. So, the lead up to this character build up was just kind of like a prologue where you're walking around following, following Commander Lin over there. We're some kind of miner. We were mining, and we mined this piece of metal that was some sort of alien artifact. So here's what I'm going to do. Leading up to getting kind of into the game, there's just a lot of random stuff, which ends up being pretty slow in, in most games. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to cheese around here. I'm going to collect things, kill things, sell things, and try and build up those traits that I chose try and get things going to where when I get over to the area and start this I'm gonna be you know maybe have some better guns and things I don't know we'll see but I'm gonna cut it off here I'll join back up I'll tell you what I did and we'll just get right up to the point where we can start doing some missions all right you guys I'm back it's been about eight hours <laughs> It's been about eight hours. I've been going around and like looting everything, the most ridiculous small stuff, and then selling it, ranking up. I'm gonna show you real quick what I ranked up here. So one of the things I wanted to do early on was commerce, right? So you can, you know, five, ultimately buy for 20% less and sell for 25% more. So I've mastered this already. All it, uh, it tells you, sell like 25 items, sell 75 items, sell 150 individual unique items. So I'm picking up like all these little scraps of paper, syringes, cups, styrofoam, and that's how I did this. And I slowly, as I got a skill point, I would buy the next one. The other thing I did, which is what I think important in these games, is lock picking. So rank one, I think it was five locks, then 10, then 15, something like that. I think it was five. Anyway, to get to level four, you gotta do 30, but you can pick anything in the game with this. This is master level. But you you know, as you go from now on, you'll end up getting this anyway. So those were the two things that I, I leveled. That's it. I mean, this was one of my ones I got originally. So was this. And I did put one point into stealth. Other than that, uh, let's see. What level am I? I'm level eight. And then I got this armor that I'm wearing here. I found it's called Bounty Hunter Space Suit. 
This Mark I helmet is found here locally. I really didn't do anything but kind of really just grind, grind out some stuff before you really kick off the game. So what I'm told is here on, we're on Jameson. We're on Jameson. It's like the first place they, they send you to. Here in Alpha Centauri, Jameson planet. This is where we're at. This is where we go and we take that alien stuff, that alien piece of metal that we found at, because we were miners before. And now I also got a different ship. This is the Razor Leaf. It's a little bit better, uh, sh you know, shielding weapons. It does have some uh, capability to where you can uh, <laughs> you can have contraband cargo and it'll hide it. It'll shield it from the scanners. Just a little bit though. Pretty cool looking ship. It's it's a lot bigger than the other one. So you can you can go to when wherever you land there's a uh, not maintenance. There's like a ship something or another. You can go in there if you want to look at your other ships that you have. Anyway, that's a pretty cool looking ship, the Razor Leaf. Now, you know, I've been doing this, like I was selling stuff here, a little trade authority kiosk. I'm gonna head over toward our mission. I've been playing for hours without doing any missions, so it's time to get this game show on the road. I've been in here doing different stuff. There's uh, there's like an underground over here, like a mall, underground mall. Been buying weapons trying to buy weapons, selling weapons, you know, selling all the stuff that I pick up. To get my lock picking, I had to rob these banks. And this one here was a nightmare because I kept waiting and making it night, but I had to, I stole all this. You can see it's all gone. There's nothing in there. I, I stole all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to the mass district. This is, this is the main quest. I guess they'll tell us like what we're gonna be. We're not a miner anymore. We're we're gonna be something for someone. We haven't done any any missions at all. No side mi I mean, just leading up to here, but no side missions. No uh, main missions. Okay, so we got to get over there. So I've already went over here and talked to this lady, but when she asked me if I was ready to go. I said, no, I need a little time. And what that allowed me to do was to go around and do some planet hopping. I actually have done a, a fair amount of planet hopping. I'll, I'll scroll out to here. So Alpha Centauri, I've hit uh, Sol. I've hit v Velo, Valo, Olympus, Volley, Cheyenne. Stopped in that place for a little while. Some different areas I, I went around and hit. There's this really cool one that's like an oil platform on like a water planet. It's got a neon city. And as I was in there, I'm like, wow, this is what cyberpunk should have been. <laughs> it's a full on neon city. It's pretty cool. But I've just been traveling around, like I said, looting. Not a lot of fighting, just mainly looting, trying to get those two things leveled up my commerce and my lock picking now I'm ready to start the game so the guy at the beginning <clears throat> when he tells us hey you take the alien artifact right and you take it to these people he gave us his watch and this, his watch opened this door I went in here and here's the alien artifacts right here and then this is the lady I need to talk to. She opened this up down here. They gave me a key. And this is like a, all the workbenches are in here. It's a weapon workbench, spacesuit, industrial workbench. And then here's the researcher. Right now, I just, I just started to research a little bit. Weaponry. I did optic and laser mods because I wanted to get an optic. So I did that. The other stuff is now blocked because I need weapon engineering. And that's actually second level, second tier in one of the things. So that's going to be a while before I get to that. I haven't even looked in here. I don't have any mods. Anyway, I'll figure that out because 
I want a red dot on my on my gun. But in here, I, I'm told that every every bench you need is actually in here. And then the, the place for you to sleep if you want. And then the helmet I'm wearing and some of the suit I got out of this thing. Whoa, was in there. You in order to open this, you need master lockpick. Master. So, master level locks. So at rank three, after lock picking, I think it's a total of 20 lock picks, something like that. You can get master and I, I got through to this. It was the hardest one I had to pick. It was like four levels. You'll see when we do lock picking. The novice ones are two levels, then they go to three, then four. It's kind of cool how they created it. All right, so. This is the beginning of the game, right here. Yes. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? See, this is... I said I still need some time to get settled. And I went off and did all this stuff. But I'm ready to go now, so let's see what this We're game has to offer. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. Hello there. The artifacts are relatively Great. inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, uh, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. I have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission! Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Ooh, nice. Got it. You and me. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Uh, yeah, I haven't robbed all the banks and everything, so we're good. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Okay, so <laughs> everything she just said, I've already done. Sarah Morgan. All right, well, I got a traveling companion. <laughs> I'm feeling a little guilty about all the the stealing I've done. I even had contraband, but as long as you sell it to the trade authority where you're at, they're going to give you, like, you know, pennies on the dollar. So you're not going to get as much as you think, but at least you won't get... Is she just going to follow? Follow mission? Yeah, she's following. All right. So this area here, I've only walked there to meet her and that's it i don't know what any of this other stuff is i was told that there is like a flight simulator somewhere and you can keep redoing the flight simulator to build up like points for flight something like that so if we see a flight simulator i'll probably have to cheese that a little bit are we even going the right way It says 62 right there. I have no idea where I'm going. Did I go underneath? Is there a path? Talk to Sarah's contact right there. Oh my God, I'm going the wrong way. Sarah, maybe, what? Now it's saying go this way. Look at that. All right, whatever. I'm going this way. Weird thing is, you see, she's just normal. She's wearing normal clothes, no helmet. I've got a space suit on. Look at this. I got a helmet on. I look good in there. Look at that. Lit up. I got all that going on. And as I run, I go through some of my... Uh... Oh, I think it's on the bottom floor. That's why. Yeah, it's on the bottom floor. I go through my O2 as I'm running. I think I took the long way, you guys. Sorry about that. 
I figured she would help lead the way, you know? Oh, I had one of those robots attack me. Okay, so MAST. I don't know what MAST stands for. Come on, Sarah, you're gonna have to run faster. I swear I will not loot and any banks or ATMs around here. Okay, if you say so. So if you're looking at it, the the video, the game itself, I, I wanted to show you in this green right here because it's really standing out. The game is grainy, okay? It's I don't I I disabled uh, some stuff. Maybe there's some film grain I can disable, but it's very grainy. So don't think it's the recording. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Commander John. newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Uh, another space explorer. Yep. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Not really. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Okay. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. All right, we'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer. Sol system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. All right, off to Sidonia then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Roger that. All right, so the old neighborhood, ask about that dude over there. Speak to Commander Tool about joining the Vanguard. Nope, that's later on. All right, so instead of running back to the ship, we should be able to fast travel to the ship. Actually, I think you can launch, like you can, <laughs> you can act like you're here, you know? But I want you guys to see what the ship looks like taking off. It looks really good. Oh yeah, that's a meaty ship right there. Okay, so I hope we we're supposed to leave. So yeah, you can like launch to another planet not near your ship. It's really weird. So where do they want us to go? Did they say in the Sol Sol system? Yeah. So up in Sol. And on Mars, huh? Sidonia? Fracking state, here it is. Mars launch pad. Set course to Mars, here we go. Jump to light speed. Engage thrusters. So when, you, when you're still in that kind of prologue leading up to this point, as you come to this Alpha Centauri planet, the game wants you to learn how to fight in sh in orbit right away, so Be you can attack. You are entering United Colonies space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Now I have some shielding, and like I done. said. Welcome to Mars. Mars open planet menu. This is where we want to go. Land. So I haven't been here. I, like I said, I only went to a couple of places just to loot. And I, I didn't get any that many gunfights, and I never got a bounty attacking me because I was always, like, in cities. Just picking up stuff, <laughs> like, literally eight hours just to do that. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Now, if I find, you know, loot people and I go to sell it, I'm going to get more money. If I find a gun that I really like, I can buy it on the cheap. 
The botany skill reduces the number of times you need to scan plants and allow you to reveal whether they can be domesticated at your outposts. Cool. Cool story. I like your style. This is a pretty long loading screen. I'm, I haven't <clears throat> been here, so I guess it's loading up, loading up the whole area. Who's this big dude coming in? Welcome to Mars. Oh, Sarah's got her suit on now. She looks like she has a Mark I suit on. So I haven't tried my guns. I don't know if they're any good or not. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. 22 XP. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. Yeah, so this is your scan. And I use it... Um, I haven't had to follow missions, so I'm using it to try and see, like, where they want me to go. I hope we get to fight some fools. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping Martian landscape. The old central hub. Oh, I didn't show you on my ship I'm storing. I actually found a couple legendary things like, uh, well, purple and legendary. But it's weird. I have to figure out what, what this game's idea of damage numbers are because the damage numbers are really low. Even though they're Lots legendary. Those aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home. All right, so you see, it seems like they're going to be everywhere. They're not just on Alpha Centauri. We can make a real good Hello, ball tender. Serve the drinks here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. Yeah, I'm looking for a vanguard named Mora. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol, hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Oh, really? Wait, the Blackest Sea? You got another word for it? He means out of space. I knew that, Sarah. Man. Okay, so we could track him down if you know his patrol route. I believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... I got problems. What do you say? What? How about I persuade? Huh. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Okay, so what matters to you more, money or his life? Yeah, I'll get your point. We're in the persuasion. Maybe. Yes. All right, I'm very up. persuasive. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. She's singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Go to Venus. So, okay, interesting. So it's got us kind of running running around so if we go to here Venus is in this soul system mining outpost industrial outpost it didn't say where it didn't say which one to go to it just said go to Venus so instead of running all the way back to the ship all crew accounted for we are ready to depart 
Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Over there. Maroon Zealots. You ever run into one? No. Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. I doubt they know where the Vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. This? There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our Vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get that beacon without being attacked? I'm opening fire on the exactly. one open fire. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Minimize ship power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except for one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from the enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon. Wow, they want me to power everything down? Okay, so lasers I'm powering down to level two. Shield down to level one. Engine down to level one. Maybe this down to level one. All right. Now, if they attack, now I feel like we're... You know, they tell you to do this, right? To put all your systems down, but if you attack, now now you gotta go back and put all your systems back online. We're getting there. I've not done a lot of this. I haven't done anything really, I've just been looting. So this is new to me. Okay, it said get it within 500 meters. We're at 26 right now. We're getting there. It's like a one of those circular arrays. Okay, almost there.
I guess I shouldn't have. I took all that time to slow down. Into these rocks, asteroids. Come on, baby. Ship's whole integrity is low. If it drops zero, your ship will explode. Press zero. What? I have not. Apparently, I got nothing to repair my ship with. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I've, I haven't been in any fights. Those guys are pretty tough. I got kind of a big ship, but it's kind of a big hulking ship. All right, so I just died. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Be careful on the other railings. On the okay, other. so there's that. Sorry about that. Can't believe we're still Get a lot of new places. Mineral you ain't been around. Vanguard. You could track him down. Leave me a look. He has a tab. It's a lot of them. Okay, persuade. Money. Guess I should ask you the what? same question. Fail. You paying or what? Maybe what? he's not gonna. I'm glad you understand. I want him fine. Wow. I do. I pulled off a level All three right, at the I'll end there with only one more chance. Just trying to earn a living. Last time I was here, my wearer kept yelling about the Venus. That's only one planet. I got what I got, okay? Okay. So now, quick save. So that part's done. Now we're gonna go back. This time, this time I'm not gonna do what I did. All right. So Venus. Go to the mining outpost. Set course for Venus. Travel time. Wow, those ships are really tough. My shield was sucking too. All right. So we need to go there. Hello. What do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Yeah. Varun Zealots. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot this us. This cluster. No, but I think I see something else that might. Right here. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Okay. Exactly. All right, so... Maximum stealth. Power down all systems except for one or two bars in your engines. Wow. Hey, stop steering. I was trying to do the other thing. Alright, so... I'm gonna leave three bars on. Take the shield down to nothing. Missiles down. Lasers down. And we have three engines. I hope that's not too much. Back up to four bars. Quick save again. That way, if I get blown up, we can start here. Okay, I'm gonna run those engines back down to two bars. done, I'm not going to run my stuff up. I'm going to try and get away quietly. Oh, that's no good. Earth 
palace and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. I'm guessing this beacon over here is where they want me to go. It's over next to Earth. Okay. So I think, look, I need to get away from these guys a little bit to where I can get my stuff back up. over there set course right the fracking station is that where they we're going Woo! <laughs> I I thought maybe I could you know throw my weight around a little bit but <laughs> to be here or am I supposed to be it looks like I'm supposed to be up there I think this might be the wrong spot let's take a look and see check out your ship's inventory landing area fracking station Luna yeah that's where we're at Yeah, I think we're in the right spot. All right, let's exit the ship. See what's going on outside. Well, this doesn't, there's a fracking station over there. Go to the Nova Galactic Star Yard. Well, that's something different. That's a fracking station. Where's the Nova Galactic Star Yard? Landing area. Check out check out your ship's inventory. Why is that a Nova Galactic Star Yard? weird is it this thing over here it's telling me to go check out my ship's inventory so let's do that real quick the razor leaf coming in what's in my ship's inventory oh wrong menu ship's inventory cargo hold inventory razor leaf why is it telling me to check out my ship's inventory? Like, it's telling me to get back in the seat. I don't think we're in the right spot. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take off from here and see if there's something out here. Ah, uh, ready to engage. Lift off. Landed on the moon, but I think it's a space station that we're looking for. Oh, I'm here now. I'm gonna get my oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard, still orbiting oh, right Earth's there. moon. <laughs> Let's see if Kick more. Is... ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Okay, okay. Most star stations and ships can be docked with allowing you to board them. You will need to select your ship's HUD, fly close enough. Okay, roger that. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. So that's weird. When when they're putting stuff up, you're not actually able to, to move. I'll take this grab down. And get something like that. All right. It's a space station, man. I think I may have been here before. We're docking. I came here to pick up a piece of paper I needed. It was a map to a special secret base. But I just came in here, I killed a couple dudes, and I left. So now we're going to see what... Shall there's any enemies? I'm sure there's enemies left. Two okay, steps so. in, and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay, it's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here, and someone else. So you see, like all this stuff, I was picking up oh, wrenches and duct they tape and pliers and globes. And anyone who gets in their way, they're even less organized than the Crimson. All right, here we go. Here we go. go that way so when I came in here I came over here and went that way there's two factions fighting here we gotta go that way but there's two different factions fighting here wow that dude just took off Got some armor. Dude's got some armor over there. Let's see. Semi auto. Credits and some ammo, ammo. Show me what you've got. Titanium rip shank, fifty cal, digi pick. So digi picks are the things that you uh, lock oh, pick. Come on, quit playing games. Anti personnel sidecar credits at that. Grendel. Don't leave any of that. Canuck behind. maple cola. Hey, we're supposed to go this other way. I just want to loot these guys Damn a little it. bit. Totally lost them. Something's out there. Log it. Hmm, let's see if they've got anything worth taking. This gun shoots like 50 cal. It's very expensive ammo. Oh, shoot. Very expensive ammo. I don't want to go real deep in here, but I do want to loot the people I've killed. Modified Equinox. All right. Took some damage. I think we're going this way. A lot of loot to pick up in here. Oh, another gunfight going on. Health kit. Nope, no first aid in there. Maybe it's around this other way. You're here? 
here? Secure access? No, that's an exit. I might actually have to go that way through there where I was and fight my way through here. Oh yeah, look at this. You know there's gonna be more of those fools over here. bullets if you pick it up off the ground that's what I was told like if you pick this gun up off the ground I'll get more Grendel bullets make sure no one's in there relieving themselves I'm shoot that dead body in front of me Faceless ammo. Ammo has no weight to it, which is awesome. Guy upstairs, guy downstairs. He's about to get double teamed. The guy up there. Oh, is this cheesecake machine? Nope. I don't understand why she doesn't have a spacesuit on, and I do. Coachman and a rescue ex. She's going up there after him. Booyah! Modified Grendel. try and take all the ammo and I'm just looking for any kind of special because wow there's still a lot of people there. Telephone It's out of curiosity. This modified Grendel short barrel. This one I'm using as a compensator semi-auto. Titanium rip shock. I have some really cool guns on the uh, on the ship. I have this uh, mini gun, right? But, oh my gosh, I had a thousand rounds, whatever the ammo is, I had a thousand rounds, and, man, I went through it like it was nobody's business. Need a red dot, baby. That guy's... Alright, I wonder... Can we get to those guys from... Look at this gun. Grendel. Grendel ammo. You've got nothing. Nothing! I wonder if we can get above them by going this way. Search this guy. Oh no, caseless. I'm sure they had something we can use. Shotgun shells. Saving. Yeah, look at them all down there. My sights just lit up someone in the floor underneath me. So it's that ship. It seems like I'm going the right way.
That guy was gonna melee me. Digi pick. Well, there's a fire. Get shot. or something. Hey, idiot! I was right here getting ready to loot. Taking some hits. You go. Pull it back. Inferno mines. Where are you guys coming up? How are you guys getting up here? I give him the old laser beam. but they're they're hiding in these rooms over here okay I don't know where those guys are hiding I don't want to come out of the woodwork on me biosuppressant med pack not showing them anymore. Alright. Whatever. Fine. Be scared if you want to. I'm going inside. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Neptune? I'm going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then... If any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. <laughs> All right. It's almost daring in these places to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. It's true. Now we gotta get back. Now there was that one secure door. There should be a shortcut to go back if I can find that door through the dining hall. I don't really know where it might be though. There's always a shortcut. Right here. That's it down there. Board game. Chunk cake. All right, we're going down here. Technician deep mining spacesuit. Can sell that. Fluorine I might need for some of my mods. Here's one of those secure access thingies. That 
was it. That was the secure access door right there. All right, we out of here. Now, there's more fools in here that we could probably kill if we went that other way. These guys are pretty tough. the same as the real thing. So we're going to get to Neptune. So this first mission is kind of like... I think it's kind of getting you used, used to you moving around, you know? Like flying around from place to place. Because this is more flying than I did in the eight hours of the looting I was doing, doing leading up to this point. Alright, so let's go ahead and undock. This is a pretty cool place. It's... It seems like it's a lot bigger than what we looked at, so... Alright. So we need to find... Is Neptune not in here? Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, that's for you. Pluto, Saturn, Titan, Earth, Neptune. I didn't see that before. Look, it's Earth, right there. Go to Neptune, dude. Hey, go to Neptune. Is there anything on here? I guess we'll set course for it. Here we come, we have... Ooh, yeah! This is, uh, I just flew by Earth. It's Earth! Alright, Neptune. We're probably gonna have some bandits or something. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Oh, it's his ship. Who's that? Oh, great. There's another ship there. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship's engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you're allowed to dock. That's it. Start the docking routine. Haha! -ha, my first Let's dock! Let's rescue that vanguard. My first dock right there. Too bad Mora's ship just got owned. Let's board this bad boy. I guess this is it here. Hey, are you coming with me or what? What is this? There's bad dudes here. Kabuya. Might as well take what we can. That's what I'm doing. Two more over there. So he said he was gonna steal their ship, but My Grendel's not that great. I don't have any perks in any kind of fighting, though, so... Nice aim, bro. Oh. Guess I should have looked behind me to see that I was standing next to some explosive gas canisters. Oopsies. Berserker sidecar credits that Grendel. Furious combat knife. Oh, here's his ship key. Modify Grendel. Let's just talk to Mora. Oh, he must be. Oh, they had him locked up. Oh, poor dude. There he is. Oh, he was in the cockpit, though. 
Is that me? Oh, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? We're from the Explorers Group, Constellation. We need to talk. What? You guys still exist? Yeah. Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? No. It'd be better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's get the nice. We got the artifact. Ha <laughs> ha! Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. You're on your own, buddy. Return to the lodge. All right. Cool. We'll go back to our ship. We got everything off of here. I'm going to loot any of his good stuff here. Some adhesive. Some of that stuff is going to be for later on. So this should be the razor leaf. All right, now we go back to the lodge. I have time for a nap before we leave. Hmm? A, a nap? No, no time for a nap. Wait, yes, I'm. I got some health deficiencies here. Can sleep for an hour. Should heal well, you. I hope. Yeah. Was she laying with me? Oh my gosh, she was watching me sleep. That's not good. I don't think I actually have to get back in the cockpit. I think I could have just select select the celestial map. All right, so we got to go back to the lodge, which is on Alpha Centauri. And Jameson, the lodge. So I think what it'll do is it'll land our ship in the spaceport and teleport us over to the lodge. It's pretty cool. Saves on a lot of running around. It, like, especially if you're doing like, hey, go back to where you started. You know, it's gonna go fetch Mish. Go fetch that alien artifact for me. Jemison. The lodge. It's so cool. I can feel Skyrim and I can feel Fallout in this game. I am at your service, Captain. <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. Here we go. So I've already put... They had two pieces. I had one. I'm going to put another one it on. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added. Then it harmonizes. But it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. Astrodynamics, lasers, leadership, and bot. Did she just give me all that stuff? Constellation space helmet added. I expected champagne. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way... How would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not mm. sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Hmm, you got it. Let's get back out there together. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. So Barrett is the guy who originally sent me here. Let's trade gear. <laughs> bye bye. Let's trade clothes. Level nine. Nice. This I think this looks like a pretty good place to stop. I think I'll just go down stairs 
and sleep so it does an auto save. So I actually haven't even actually that's not what I want. I haven't even looked at like missions or anything yet. Surveyed, survey says. Oh L. So some of these things opened up just as I was going around. As far as main missions go. Into the Unknown, Back to Vectera, and The Empty Nest. I guess these are the ones that we finished already, below the line. Cool. We'll get into that in the next episode, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I don't want to start from a dead stop with uh, nothing and nothing. So I put in some time before I started the main missions. And I haven't done any side missions yet either. So hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Join the next episode.